Hello there, friends. Welcome on in or welcome back. If you are just joining us, we've caught the box legendary. Lysandre is apparently, or Lysander, however you want to say his name, is apparently sitting underneath a whole lot of rubble for all eternity without being able to die, which kind of sounds like a bad time. <laughs> and uh, we're heading on to the final gym. Uh, IGN acquired Gamer Network. Your gamer rock paper shotgun. Uh huh. Has already laid off some people. Tell me you don't follow industry news without telling me you don't follow industry news. Like, that's just a bad look right now. <laughs> hey, Shiny Luxury, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Um, but yeah, we're heading onwards to. I'm assuming this way? I'm assuming Route 18? Maybe? I'm doing pretty good today. I'll take a screenshot of interesting stuff from... Okay! Cool! I will check that out after. I am so interested. <laughs> I am so ready to be excited for Kingdom Hearts again. Yeah. Buying competition and then gutting it. There should really be rules in place against that, but... I have hiccups, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not pausing, it literally just I have hiccups. Yeah, this is literally how monopolies are born. It's really bad right now. Do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you face to face. Let's meet in uh, Kuraway Town. Yeah, it's a bad look. It's bad overall, I, I believe, for business. It just is not a good time. Right up ahead was all riddled with tunnels from a horde of Durin. Took forever to fix. But I guess they're just doing what they love. Can I go through them? Oh, okay. They're just blocking the door. Rude. Roads of rock, roads of steel. Here we walk, happy we feel. Oh, uh, I should have a new Pokemon we can catch this crowd. I just jump into the grass and get who we get, you know? Oh, that... Bush is... Jiggling. What are you? Huh. Are you a part ground type or are you just steel? What the heck are you? Am I excited? I don't know. It's different. It's a different Pokemon. Is it just steel? It's steel bug. Steel bug. Ah. Eh. 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 Only weak to fire. I mean, that's the next gym, but like, you know, that's still kind of cool. Just very, very weak to fire. Yeah, that'd be like four times, right? No, no. Stay in. Stay in. In. Also, Ollie has left me. He decided he wanted to be out in the living room for, for the afternoon, which is fine. He also got some wet food, so he's happy. Oh. Uh. Could have gotten a sand slash and the red flowers. Oh! I haven't seen any of the red flowers yet, unfortunately. That would have been nice too. Oh my god. Please! Just. I don't want to. It was also in the grass. <laughs> How good am I growing hair? Random, from what I know of you, not really. So, I guess cooking is in that same category. Go on. Stay. Oh my god. Well, now I gotta sit here and wait. I'm gonna try a quick attack next time it comes up. It's I'm 20 levels higher. Do we think he'll kill it? I might. I probably shouldn't. I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep checking Pokeballs. <laughs> oh 
Please. Please stay in. You don't think it'll kill it? Okay, next time. Next round. Unless I catch it right now. Seriously? Okay. I will not ban you, random. I will not ban you. Oh, this is good. This is good. MC Pidgey is a true starter. Honestly, MC Pidgey has actually been our starter for this playthrough. Because from the very beginning, they've been our bestie. So the let's go. Uh, oh, I was so confused when I was reading Rebecca. I was like, what? Did what who said what? Okay. Man, that was confusing. <laughs> I feel like I needed the clarification before the quote. <laughs> Out of 10 or 5 out of 10. I guess it's a very controversial game. I don't know if I know that one. Or assuming it's a game. <laughs> oh, hi, sir. Oh, not even the king could make it stay in the ball. If he couldn't, what hope do we have? Durant answers to no fish. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, okay, it, so it is a game. Okay. Disturbingly good at portraying schizophrenia. I don't think I've even I've heard of it. Okay, could you just like just it's a nice Pokeball. It's nice in there. I just wasted like 10 Pokeballs on this thing. Which is fine, I don't really need that many, but also like, I'm judging. Anyway, who wants to be named- thank you! Who wants to be named for an ant? Type exclamation mark name if you've not already been named for a Pokemon in this playthrough. Um, or if you have and your Pokemon has fainted and you haven't been renamed yet, that's also acceptable. Uh, my only requirement is that it be something to do with your username so that I remember who this one was named for. I would like to note, Random does not have the power to rig this raffle. <laughs> Also, while you're sitting here, if you decide to enter, you can think of some mix of your username and Durant's name, or just straight up your username, whichever you prefer. Too good and you get shut down, high fi rush. Too shit and you get shut down, red fall. Oh. A poor high fi rush. I would like to reiterate, for the people in the back, Random absolutely does not have the ability to rig a raffle. Random, what do you want to be called? I would like to state for the record, he has no way to do it. 
He absolutely cannot. <laughs> Rant's dumb? Oh, that actually kind of works. There you go. Rantum? You've been sent to horny jail. I'm sorry, buddy. I have a question. I probably may or may not have answers. Potentially. Dom entering horny jail? I was not gonna say anything, but I was, I was, you know. I was looking. I have made a mistake. I, I, I wasn't gonna bring it up. <laughs> Why are people blocking the door? It's so rude. Yesterday, uh, Mike and I went out for a walk. We went to Starbucks. They have like this new location open, which is really nice. But besides the point, as we were leaving this, this like, this lady, I don't even know how else to describe her, just a lady, exits ahead of me, turns around and then just kind of stands right in front of the door. So I had to like open it just a little bit and shimmy my way out. And she was just yelling on the phone and it's like, what? And she turned around, she's looking at the door, too, so she, it's not like she's, like, completely unaware how close she is to said door. Mike was like, you should have, like, you know, shoved the door at her, and I'm like, I, I, I you know, I was mad, but I'm never gonna be that mean. <laughs> as tempting as it was. If someone enters a raffle and the mod deletes the comments, are they still entered? I assume so. I haven't tried it, maybe one day we can do some sciencing. Um, but I assume the bot would still count it. I'm browsing Reddit while I'm in this box. <laughs> Is Bob on your island? I have Bob in my Animal Crossing GameCube save, but he recently was just like, I'm gonna leave, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I can't do anything about that. <laughs> I'm hoping he just doesn't. My shorts on, there's no stopping me. I can go anywhere. One person had turned, no one else. You guys wanna do some science? Can I have a volunteer to be our guinea pig? Who is not a mod. Just one volunteer. Silver! Okay. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do... A... Raffle. Okay. Only silver enters, please and thank you. And... Any mod, I'm... Uh, Itsu. <laughs> Whoever's available. Could you delete silver's comment when they try to enter? And let's see. All right, give it a go. It's still there. Silver is still entered. And now it's who's entered as well. <laughs> there you go. That was some interesting science. I didn't take a look at what uh, what that fire move is, so I'm just gonna back out. Yeah, we don't have any say in, in who wins, it's purely the bot. I remember, um, low-key little secret between, between us chat. It's one reason why I'm not using- I don't remember if it was Moobot or Nightbot. One of the older bots, uh, you could manipulate really easily. Um, and I never mentioned it, but the bot would always pick the last entrant. <laughs> always. So someone entered right at the very end. The bot hates me because it does. <laughs> it, I don't remember if it was Nightbot or if it was Moobot, but it was one of the older ones. I remember that being a, a main reason I wanted to have a different bot in place. Um, a slashing attack with a poisonous blade that may also poison the target. Critical hits land more easily. It's a physical 70-100. Why would I have this? Oh, bear with me again, chat. I'm sorry, I have the vet calling.
Okay, sorry about all the pauses today, friends. Lots of phone calls. Bunch of good stuff. All he's getting a new chicken flavored medicine. And knowing him, he won't even care that it's chicken. <laughs> knowing my baby. Uh, affection, I hope you enjoy your food, by the way. Um, what was I doing? Okay, so I didn't want cross poison. That didn't seem worth it. She was like, I am calling for Oliver's medicine. They want me to ask what flavor you want. And I'm like, all right, what flavors are available? And she's like, um, let me go ask. <laughs> she comes back and there's like a whole menu, like a whole list. And I'm like, I did, just chicken. He's not really a fish kitty. <laughs> I also love Jimkin. Ollie is a very big fan. Yep, Jimkin. Such a shame too, because his wet food comes in like a variety pack. And it has uh, chicken and beef stuff, but then it has a whole whack of fish, and like he's just not really big on it. It's not really his favorite flavors. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our fire Pokemon. I was trying to raise our levels here a bit, and like take some risks and actually use it. Yeah, I'll take a look. My vet wasn't thrilled with the fancy fees. She's like, we could get him on something better, and I'm like, yeah, we could. Um, but, oh, why is that a 50 accuracy move? Holy crap, do I have anything better for you? <laughs> so odd, I feel like cat eating fish is just a given. It is, it really is. It's a thing in media constantly, but apparently a lot of kitties just don't like it. Uh, my mom's old cats apparently were the same, so she wasn't very surprised by him. I gotta have a better fire type move somewhere. Uh, okay, that just inflicts a burn. Uh, I guess it technically would be better, but it's not really that great. These wet food comes in a variety of flavors, and I've gone through and made sure it's all mixed up so he has a variety, but I know he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> At least he doesn't, all he really does. As science diet they sell, they want to sell you that. See, that's the thing, too. Yeah, we have to keep that in mind. They're probably also trying to sell me stuff like that. Which, you know, valid, fair. Um, you know what? I might put this on him just for now. I know it's probably not ideal, but I think it's better than what we have currently. Okay, um... Uh... Oh. Chat, I'm getting rid of that move. Never mind. <laughs> I am not keeping a fainting move on. I'm gonna use that by accident. I'm just- yeah, no. No. Express of the very pet food. I'm a dog owner and changing the contents of protein to the food is a big deal that requires transitioning over weeks. They might be. They might be. Um, with, like, some cats can transition really well, some are very easy, some don't. Um, our old cat, Tika, we, I loved her to pieces. She is a lovely little lady, but dear lord, if you tried to change her food, she would just starve herself. And it was a little scary how, like, devoted to that she was. She needed. We tried to put her on a better food because we thought that she might have some allergies. And she was like, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Screw you. Dogs are both sensitive boys and it works absolutely amazing for them. They both have shiny coats and are very healthy. But that me, but once they figured out, I did my researching. They changed their tune. Never forget. Which one was this, Rebecca? Oh, hop it. I remember. I remember this. Oh, man. Not really that long ago, though. That's painful. <gasps> yeah, mix it into different ratios. They recommend the same thing with cats. Some cats can just change it up. Some don't. 
But especially while Ollie's sick, we're not, like, going out of our way to completely mix up his diet, obviously. Yeah, it's to make money, exactly. And when they've already taken so much. Gotta keep that in mind. Oh, I thought this was like the whole area down here, but I guess not. Fair enough. Chat, here I was thinking we were actually potentially going to finish this today, but I've been so up and down and we've been doing so much stuff. But we gotta get through a whole gym, plus navigate Victory Road, plus Deal Elite 4, so I guess maybe tomorrow? We'll be aiming to finish it and then we can do some Ocarina of Time or something silly as well tomorrow for our Wednesday stream. <laughs> yeah, I was really enjoying that last week. It was a lot of fun. We'll see you later, Ritsu. Thank you so much for hanging out. All right, get me my goodies. Which perfection is Stardew, by the way? Oh, you can go back to Rebirth! Nice! What was your uh, your save file time, random? Don't mind my ass kick. Uh, what is this thing? Is it just steel? I'm trying to look for like a good place to grind our... Uh... It's rock steel. I'm trying to look for a good place to grind our uh, our Ravenclaw here. Oh no no, you don't have to, you don't gotta worry about it. I don't want you to have to like boot up or anything, but I am excited for you to play some more Rebirth. Do we have a dust stone? Um, I don't think we do. I don't think we do. There was some talk about me maybe getting one in a cave we went to yesterday, and then I didn't find one in there. So I don't know if I missed it, or if it, like, wasn't in there or something. I don't know. We're like a good 10 levels below everyone else here at the moment. Oh, these are the red flowers you guys were on about. Oh, uh, let me go back up this way. 108, not bad. We can get one in Terminus Cave, which I think is here. Go catch Zygarde. Ground electric here. Yeah. Just wanna keep wouldn't be a bad idea. They're all around level fifty and Sagar's chamber is blocked off right now. Okay. We can take a look. kind of like pinged off my head. <laughs> that was funny. Be careful of the house near here. What's going on with the house? Yeah. 
Psychic that will challenge you to an in- Oh, no, no, no. No, thank you. I am good. It's a good way to lose a Pokemon. Yeah, no, I'm I'm happy at the moment. I'm good. Okay, what is it with Pokemon here using bounce? Sure, ran the AC on break. It is getting very warm in here. I think I was taking a look at the temperature earlier and it said something about it feeling like it's gonna be in the 30s this afternoon. It's only going up to high 20s, but still very warm. Okay, cool. So that was that. Is this the cave? Terminus cave. Oh, I guess I could catch a new Pokemon in here too, right? You're on a tornado watch today? Oh, be safe. Dear me. Oh. Hello? Uh, an Ariados? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Ariados? I don't know, it's, it's a bug. There's a bug. Gently. Gently. <laughs> I'm scared to hit it again, so I'm just not going to. Alright, that one was a lot easier than Durant. Uh, if anyone would like to be the nickname for... Ariados or Ariados, however you say it. The best finish mark name in chat if you haven't already been named for a Pokemon, or you have been but they've fainted. It's been string not only from its rear, but also from its mouth. It's hard to tell which end is which. That's that's an entire entry. Also, nearly a 74-pound bug. No, thank you. I had to wait for that, and as long as the nickname has something to do with your username so I can tell that it was you it was named for, I am happy. Small story time, our neighbor has an escape artist boxer puppy and he likes to dig under their fence. He's the cutest little baby, but when we have to pick him up and return him home, our older doggo gets so jealous, he just sits and sniffs us non-stop drooling like crazy. He's like, listen, all right, I, I can smell you are touching the puppy. I am the puppy still. <laughs> That's really cute. Reclay, do you just want to be Reclay, or do you have some mix of the Pokemon's name in your name? I am the only dog. It is a girl. Ignore my little brother. Pushing me out of the way right now. He's not real. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for entering. I couldn't either. I think it kind of works, though. It's kind of cute. There you go. You've been sent to horny jail. <laughs> um, right, what I, was, uh, what I was about to say... Um, in regards to like, oh, ignore them, they're not real. Um, my, uh, my cats 
before Ollie. They were all very, very affectionate. And they all wanted loving and like, you know, they, they just were big into pets. They were big into snuggles. They wanted to all sit on your lap. But the thing is, there was competition. There was three other cats aside from them, right? Um... So, like, you call one cat over and the others would come running. I- there were times where I'd reach out to, like, let's say, pet Kiara's head and suddenly Tiger's head would slam into hers, move hers over, and then steal the pet. Why did I change to Pidgeotta? Or Pidgeot? What am I doing? Y'all should see me play Baldur's Gate, not PG-13 at all. <laughs> My current like, I'm constantly nude. I love that. Romancing Gale, so of course, he's also new. <laughs> lot, of, lot of nude people running around. Could you just say I'm not sure if I should be disturbed, thankful, or turned on? <laughs> okay, here I should probably do a little heal. There we go. Hi. Huh? What are you looking at? I'm gonna make you help me work if you lose. Sir, child labor laws. I'm sure that there's some here somewhere. Surfing. I do want to remember approximately what levels gym, final gym and Elite Four are. I'm wondering if we're on track, if I should be doing some more. <gasps> you have a funny story from work? Do share. Do share. I'm a little concerned that you remember this after someone mentioned someone being naked, but I am intrigued. Lucario wants to learn extreme speed? User charges the target at blinding speed. This move always goes first. Okay. That does sound handy. It's only a normal type, but... What do y'all think about that? Hey, I had to put that out there. I'm, it was just- it was the timing. <laughs> it was timing. Oh, is my phone charged? Oh, it's kind of charged. I'm thinking I might get rid of that poison gem. Like, it's useful for fairy. I don't think I can expect any more or too much more fairy to deal with. I might get rid of the poison jab. I like the always goes first part. <laughs> It's like a better quick attack. Exactly. Why do you have sturdy? Alright, 
gold one last. Look at his little hands. Look at his little grabbies. Got sturdy also, of course. He's gonna get you. Them little grabbies. <laughs> Getting help to swap some buttons on my work laptop, and as I was getting help, the guy that was helping me with installing Baldur's Gate 3 on what I think was his work laptop, I mentioned it just for fun, that the only bit I'd see of that game was the bear scene, but then the guy mentioned that he avoided everything about the game, so he didn't know what it was. <gasps> oh, he hadn't been spoiled? Another guy nearby then mentioned that he had also tried to avoid everything about the game, but that he had also only seen the bear scene. <laughs> That's really funny. Now he's gonna be like, what the heck is the bear seed? <laughs> That's very funny. I love that. Uh, uh, wait, no, I want that Pokeball. Oh. I got the bear seed without knowing 10 out of 10 would try that again. <laughs> oh no. Want to know something funny? Always. Sorry if I'm getting a little quiet again, by the way, chat. I have a little bit of a headache again. I, I took something on break, so hopefully it kicks in. But um, the drilling outside is not doing me many favors. <laughs> of bear while in human form. <laughs> I love that. Level 63, not bad. 58, we're catching up. We're getting there. I think having them out in front is hopefully helping quite a bit. I'm pretty sure they're getting additional just for that. Uh, actually. Didn't I buy... There we go, that'll do. <laughs> Absolutely be romancing him and Halson, but no! <laughs> Work around a cave, rather picturesque if I do say so myself. That is not what I was expecting in here. Okay. Uh, are you... just water? You're just straight up water. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I got nothing for that, so... <laughs> hey, Haynes, it's going well. We haven't lost anyone yet today. We came kind of close once, which is a bit scary. Uh, we caught the box legendary. And we are slowly making our way towards the eighth gym, or the final gym. I'm kind of exploring through a cave right now. Oh, uh, sorry, by the way, did we- we said that the- the dust stone I think I'm looking for is in here, right? Yeah, knocks on wood. I absolutely don't want to lose anyone.
Oh, I wish. You're so cute. I love you. I think I might almost put on a... Uh... I put on a repel here? It's a little annoying running into everything to every two seconds. If I have any... Uh... I don't know if I do. Would they even be in here? I guess not. Weird. Okay. Uh, I wanna go back down? Where am I going? Put me back here. Which I didn't go this way. Larion faints Larion. Oh, look at them all. Jeez. You know these ones, um. Oh, did I just go past it? Was it in the bag? Okay, where is Okay, good. Um, whenever I see a, uh, a horde pop up, I'm always like triple checking, being like, are one of you a shiny? <laughs> Look at me! I only have one. I guess I'll use it, why not? I don't have rock smash on anyone. Replacing the season with the current one, that's actually kind of funny. like screech on you still so I can replace that. Let's get rid of that. I'm not using it. There you go. Just gives you something more you can do. Okay. so cute hi chat am i crazy or did rock smash used to be an hm by the way it was okay cool does anyone know where it lost that status because it just suddenly dawned on me i'm like that's kind of weird Gen 5, maybe? HM06 in Gen 3 and 4. And then again in Omega Ruby. Because like, I'm pretty sure Flash also lost that status. I guess these days it doesn't really matter anymore, but... Did I? Oh. I don't think I've been down here. I have not. There's Repel gone. Gosh, <laughs> rolling skates, please. Gen 2 was just a TM, which is a bit odd, as it was one use. And I, I, I'm trying to remember. I feel like there was a cave where you pretty much needed it in the, there, too. Those circles were elegant. <laughs> you know what that reminded me of? Um, I think there's a stream clip of it, actually. I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3 last time, 
and I had one of the forms or whatever they're called in that game activated and I kept slip sliding past the save point. I could not land on it. I just kept going right past it and circling it. That was funny. See that hiker on top of the bridge? He's been running back and forth like that for the last couple of days. I wonder if he's all right. Days? He's been running back and forth. Fun fact, after getting Rock Smash on Route 36, you can buy it again. Oh, it's a department store. I did not know that. This guy's been watching this other man for days and one doesn't think that's weird, but two has not reached out to see if he's okay because running around for days is apparently normal. I'm also not gonna lie, low key, I thought this was a new Pokemon in Galar. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, that actually hurt quite a bit. That was rude of you. And headbutt as well. Surf again. Um, Steelix is obviously steel. Are you also? You ground as well, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be part block or part ground, that's where I was getting a little little caught up. I think I might be a new Lucario fan after this, by the way. It's been uh definitely been a very good team member. Let's see why people like it. It's a cutie. I kind of was like indifferent towards it before. Yeah, no, it is a good Pokemon. Okay, that put me wherever the heck here is. Gonna go back to cooking now. Sounds good. I like how you're like, I need to come in because you were talking about you talking about Lucario. I don't remember actually. I like for I I know that we did that playthrough obviously, and I remember um getting up to that place with like the big sundial. But that's about it, weirdly enough. I don't know why I wasn't very interested back then. That playthrough just did not catch my interest. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> first, first pure flying was Gen 5. First pure ice was Gen 3. That's so strange. I know that they tend to put normal and flying together a lot, though. At least I feel like they do. For some reason, just because, I guess. Uh, okay, there's a way down over here. Yeah. 
Often burbs. Burbs are normal. I guess. I guess they're normal. Apparently Rickety though. Rickety's not normal. Screw that one. I found a moonstone. That's very nice actually. I'll take that. Thank you. Yep, that's not the one we're looking for. <laughs> Gyarados isn't a normal bird either. Poor Gyarados. It can be a normal bird if it wants to be. We don't have a skitty. Listen, okay, in our dreams. Is it bad these little, like... Battle girls make me nervous because one tried to kick in my face earlier. <laughs> I haven't forgiven nor have I forgotten. Mark Crow is an evil bird, so also not normal. <laughs> oh dear. Why do you have that? You stop that. Oh god, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm flying. Stop having rock type moves, it makes me scared. <laughs> Jeez. just gonna keep doing that my flies and hope for the best I think. I would like to heal but I'm scared. This Xehanort looking one makes me nervous. If you could rename one type what would it be? Steal the metal. I agree. I agree that would actually be it. The others I don't really have too much of a problem with. Normal is kind of weird mind you but I don't know what else you would call it. I don't know, would you call it, like, plant instead? That's the thing, like, I, I, I agree it's weird, but I don't know what else you would name it. Okay, I'm just gonna do a save after healing. There's a Pokeball up there. Oh yeah, neutral. Neutral could work. So many little tight turns and someone decided the roller skates were a good idea on the d-pad. I just want to talk to whoever thought this was a good idea. Yeah, normal kind of always felt like just not really a type. I know it has its uses, but... <gasps> I found it! Yay! Um, I guess I'll just evolve a baby now. There you go. I'm gonna get a full-on chandelier. We can try swinging from it. I 
I like your flames. They're cool looking. I'm just gonna kick your back leg muscle right after waking up and get cramped so bad you can't stand that leg. I did that this morning. It got better during the day, but my muscles starting to act up again. Oh, I hate that. I think the worst is like when you're in bed and you do like a big old stretch and you get a leg cramp and it's like, I was just stretching. It was meant to feel good. <laughs> I was just waking up. <laughs> yep, I hate that. When I played Splatoon, I used to get leg cramps in my sleep. Oh, speaking of video games and sleep, actually. I think I've been playing too much Zelda. I was dreaming about dungeons last night and like hitting switches to do a puzzle. It was a whole thing. Yep. It just hurts so bad, and you're like, why am I dying? <laughs> Watch this chiropractor who does super loud cracks. Oh, ugh. I get creeped out by uh, cracking knuckles and stuff. It cramps during stretching all the time. It's so cruel. I wasn't there for it, unfortunately. Just witnessed this firsthand. Um, but a couple of years ago, my old work paid for uh, gym memberships for all of us. Uh, we just had to bring them the receipt and they'd pay for our gym, right? Um, also, hi, great, thank you. It was quite nice. So uh, my work friend and I started going to a uh, water aerobics class. <laughs> it was her idea. She's like, we'll do some lap swimming and then we'll do some aerobics and we'll, we'll get into shape before our trip. And I'm like, all right, cool. Um, we were two, you know, mid 20s, early 20s year old ladies in a class with a whole bunch of seniors. And they were really nice. They were really friendly. They were lovely people. Um, but I think the thing that got me was the one day I couldn't heck and make it. I missed it. My friend got a leg cramp in the water and had to sit off to the side. And she had these little old ladies come up to her and go, Oh, honey, it's okay. Just have more banana. It'll help. Like, more potassium. Eat more bananas. <laughs> and she's sitting there being like, Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, thank you. I'm young. I shouldn't be, like, you know, sidelined. Ugh. She had to tell me about it after, and she was kind of embarrassed about going back. But no, when you get a cramp, it sucks. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. No, no, no rocks, no rocks. Don't you fucking dare, I swear. So I'm trying not to like get too too far ahead. I'm just trying to feed all the trainers here. I feel like this is some great experience before we uh, head to the next gym. All right, almost up to level sixty with you. I always thought that this Pokemon looks like it has foam hands. Like, you know, those big, like, number one foam hand things? Yama's its biggest supporter. Uh, Alright, so it looks like there's a, uh, a 
thing there. God, I've run into so many of you today. <laughs> Go on, shoot. My sister. <laughs> We're just running into all of Random's family that we kidnapped him from and then stuck him in horny jail. Shadow Ball. Nice. go okay uh so that was this area my family would be ashamed of me for being put in a horny jail they don't have to know it's okay I'll keep that between me you and chat and whoever's watching the vods down the line hello by the way <laughs> it's just it's a little secret on youtube oh oh god double battle a pair of wanderers on a journey through Kalos with our trusty Pokemon. One of our favorite pastimes is a battle with the trainers we encounter on our journey. Pokemon are like treasure jewels strewn throughout the land. It's in battle where they truly get a chance to shine. I like the look of the rangers in this game. They're really cool. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do... So these guys are both ground, right? As well as poison, I think. Uh, I'm gonna swap to Ace. Oh god, I can't remember. Will Surf hit MC Pidgey? I think it might, actually. Uh... Yeah, okay. Unless I do fly. Unless I do fly. But I might want to back anyway, because I don't trust you not to have a rock move. Decide to put people that aren't even being elected for the European Parliament on their posters because they're more popular. That should immediately just, like, remove them from the, the ballot or whatever the heck it's called. Like, that shouldn't be allowed. Okay. Uh, let me do a... I guess I could do Hydro Pump instead. But I think if I do Surf, I'll hit Bow. But if I can get MCPG to fly first, that could work. Nova, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. Okay, there we go. That went quite well. I'm pretty proud of that. I thought about that. That was a strategy. It was a baby strategy, but I did it. <laughs> Playing some Pokemon MMO. I hope you're enjoying. It really should be illegal, but these parties have too much power. Yeah, that sounds very sketch. Oh, you poisoned me? Seriously? Rude. Sizzy wants to learn Hyper Beam. Oh, okay, so this is a normal move. Mixed with that ice. It changes it to ice. We can't move the next turn. And it's an accuracy of 90. Would that be worth it over round, do you guys think? Um, I, I don't know, I can't remember how much the ice ability thing increases it. By 30%. 
I don't know if it's worth the risk for not being able to move the next turn. I guess I could always swap out, but like, if it actually hit, it would essentially decimate a lot, I think. <laughs> What power is Ice Beam? Uh, Ice Beam is 90. It's so strange that uh, normal type moves get converted. I know we had this with Sylveon before as well. It's just different. Replace round, use Ice Beam as your regular move. Will do. This is going to be my I'm pulling out all the stops. Thank you. Go. A uh, Pokeball here I want to grab. That's actually from the beginning. I recognize this area. Round is a bit outdated anyway, since it was effectively 78 power. Yeah. Really big cave. Hey, can't you see I'm working here? 195 power hyper beam. No, <laughs> I mean that. Uh, that dragon isn't gonna know what hit him when we get to the elite four or dragon. So, uh, what are you again? You are rock steel. Bring up Mega clearly as it gets refrigerate as an ability. It can also learn explosion. A 250 base power move. Oh my goodness. That would be a little scary. <laughs> See, this is why I never agree to have Pokemon battles with any of you guys. <laughs> Y'all know too much. dangerous to go further ahead unless you're as strong as the champion. Oh, is this uh, Zygarde area? I'm assuming. I might just uh, escape rope my way out of here. I don't know if I remember my way out. There we go. Nice little uh... I was gonna say rest stop, but not really. Uh, nice little grinding area. Dances of our gets pixelate when Mega Evolve, but she doesn't have Hyper Voice on it. Rip. Oh! Hello again. I mean, to be fair... To Diantha, I'm glad as someone who has to oppose her because it means I'm not gonna get obliterated. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go back quickly to heal and then we'll continue on this route which we have barely touched.
There we go. That's good. I'd also like to point out our uh, little chandelier friend is rolling around on the bottom of the screen again. It's having an awesome time down there. Do you really spawn every single time? It's doing the spin. Bigger warning friends, by the way, we have our last ad break of the day coming up here. Ugh, why is it clouding over? <laughs> I want to go out for a walk after stream, that sucks. Uh, this for those abilities. Really pixelate, refrigerate, and galvanize. Guess what the types are for them. I mean, I know pixelate, that was... We had that with the uh, the fairy type, right? And refrigerate would be the ice. Is galvanize something to do with steel? Maybe? Yeah, ice and then steel. Oh, electric! Oh! Oh, yeah, no, you know what? That makes sense. That does make sense. I have a low-end Geo, dude. Yeah, I only knew Pixely because we used that with Sylveon in uh, our Scarlet and Violet DLC save file. Nothing over here. <laughs> I'm late, I'm late! Watch out, watch out! Uh, okay, so you are... your fairy now, right? So you don't like to steal. There's a fifth hidden one normalized, which turns every move into normal without a boost. Can you guess which line has that ability? Um. I don't know, but that sounds kind of not nice. <laughs> that sounds like something I wouldn't want. Commences battle making her later. This is skitty. Oh god. It's a shame because I think Delicati actually looks really cool. I've always kind of liked that look. And I'll keep you out. Look at that little cutie, that little knockoff Pikachu. <laughs> Chat, which is your favorite of the knockoff Pikachus? Mimikyu. Yeah, I think Mimikyu's cool, definitely. I don't know if it technically counts, but I like it anyway. If the move flying press is affected by normalize, it deals normal flying type damage. A dual move. <laughs> Okay, oh! Over here already? Oh my god, I thought it was gonna be so much further. I <laughs> Lucha's signature moves so usually fighting flying type damage. I like to imagine they just throw a Pidgey at their opponent. <laughs> just like chuck the bird. Control at T is supposed to insert the trademark symbol, but it didn't work. 
Oh. It's a shame. The device that lets you become a Pokemon, would anyone want to do that? I mean, I know someone who did, but like, he didn't necessarily want to. Change your hairstyle is like a form of... a form change for people. There you go, now it worked. Powerful moves have fewer PP, which is short for power points. Accomplished trainers use PowerPoint or PP up on such moves, yes. Are you familiar with the abilities that keep Pokemon from fleeing battle? Those abilities don't work on ghost type Pokemon. Oh! Right. I guess that's a smart. Uh, I was wondering why. I just. I kept being able to escape with our ghost type friend in front. <laughs> that makes sense. We've talked about this recently. I want to be loved. Do you have a Pokemon that uses Nuzzle? I don't. Sorry. The ability warrior on TV. I wish I had a Pokemon's ability. I wish that I were a Pokemon that I could live every day with him. I don't think I know any cool, like, keyboard shortcuts like that. I really like the story of the magic heart climbing the waterfall. Is it Dirt Power? Am I saying that right? Welcome on in. Uh, do you mean my team, or...? We just finished the seventh gym earlier. We're heading for the eighth, if that helps out at all. Two of the team for you turn here. I'll share one with you. Hey, Mr. Wonderful, how's it going? Oh, there's another rare candy. I've been finding these after. I could have used one on our, uh, our dino baby. Hello. I have to apologize to you about, uh, Lysander. I'm very sorry for the trouble he caused. I'd also like to thank you. I'm sincerely grateful for what you did for all of the Pokemon and people of this world. By stopping Team Flare, you also saved Lysander. I always knew that he desired a beautiful world. And maybe someday the population of people and Pokemon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. If someone acts out of greed in such a world, surely some will go without. If all living things keep acting that way, there will be nothing left at all in the end. Well, there won't even be anything left to steal, will there? But what I really want was for him to put his ego aside and lead everything to greater heights. I never had this discussion with him, though, so I'm partially responsible for this. Well, enough of that. Crystal, I want you and your Pokémon to take everything you've learned from your journey and hit me with your very best shot. Oh. Oh! Oh! Cool. <laughs> when does the trainer... I remember when I was, like... I think random actually you mentioned it first and I got really excited about the potential of uh the Galar um to Kalos train and then it, it didn't it didn't happen. Yeah, what could have been this is the baby we didn't or one of the babies we didn't choose. Oh no wait, no wait. My apologies. It's the one we chose, it's one that we could have had if it hadn't fainted. Are you just going to use the three starters on me, actually? Oh, what did you just hit me with? Excuse me. Oh. Listen, I didn't murder it. Someone else did. Someone else did. Now I can't use rest. Well, joke's on it. I'm not resting. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. But where did he catch the Bulbasaur? <laughs> eh, I got another case of I have nothing for water. <laughs> this sucks. I stole it from my PC. Is that actually Brandon? Is that Brandon all grown up and here to, to get some revenge? Okay, that works. Hmm. 
Okay, and then we got a Charizard. But yeah, I got confused earlier because I was expecting him to use the two Pokemon that you didn't take. And then I was like, wait a minute, no, I didn't take Charizard, I took... <laughs> I took uh, Bulbasaur. Or I didn't take Charmander, I should say. Sir. Oh, did they, Rebecca? Why didn't he Mega Evolve any of these? Does he have the... the... ring... thing? Really are something. You and your Pokémon have developed strong bonds by spending time together and by caring about one another. That's why you and your Pokémon are so strong. Oh, I did not know about that. Strike you found is simply marvelous, and you truly love and trust your Pokemon. Crystal, a treasure of mine is hidden in this town. If you like to, uh, try to find it. I'll be often have many preparations I must attend to. I have a little surprise planned for all of you to thank you for fighting Team Flare and saving Kalos. I, I thought it was, like, behind a sign or something. Where was it again? Where's the goodies? No. Oh, there's more town. Here we go. In an album, you see pictures that make you remember the excitement you felt that time. In Endemil Town, you can make Pokemon remember moves they once knew. Have you visited the art museum in Lumio City? Which Pokemon did you pick as your first partner? Oh really? It was Fennekin. Oh please don't talk about that. <laughs> I guess uh, you get the Fennekin quiz. True or false? Is Fennekin's height... I don't know. It, it died before I could really use it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna say no. I was wrong. Mimic, huh? Oh, it'll let you use the last move an opponent used during battle. Because of what mimics like to do is learn by copying other people, right? Okay, uh, that looks like the way out. Oh god, this is a this is a hotel. Okay. You have a Pokedex here, let me give you a Pokemon quiz. What does a little scalp disguise itself as to find potential prey? I'm assuming kelp. Awesome, thank you. Professor Fakemore. <laughs> we can serve for a fish here. Yeah, I'll take a look. I heard that a thousand years ago, the Kalos region was mostly forest. Sculpt would be great on Ace. Sure. Because there's a waterfall that flows backwards somewhere in the world. I really want to see that. I know where that is. That's Hollow Bastion. I say waterfall. What's the first thing that comes to mind? It's crazy how you get so many different answers to that question. Seriously. Try asking your friends. Had your food and fed bear. How was your food? Wait, is it a fire gym coming up? I, th I th thought it was an ice gym. Am I crazy? I'd say Surf Fishing has Pulley and Basculin. Surf has Lombre and Floatzel. Ice Jib, yeah. Although there might be a Fire Elite Four person, right? I think I was mentioning Fire coming up to prepare like my Fire type for the Ice Gym. Um. Okay, so question. What should I remove? Because I already have um, Hydro Pump and Surf. And Zed Headbutt. <laughs> and Rock Smash, but that was just for this recent area. I think technically Surf is better for the time being, right? Really? Get rid of Hydro Pump? Okay. 
y'all know more than I do. I'm just following along. There we go. Yeah, the accuracy isn't the best. I agree with you there. Well, you know what I never did? I never used the experience points from the O powers. I should have done that. 3% burn chance is worth it. First, I think I'll head over to Sandalin City and then Silage City. Mmm, we're back in the hotel room. <sighs> Had some chicken, boiled some new potatoes and smashed them into pancake shapes, some fried them in salt, pepper, garlic, powder, paprika, and then steamed some broccoli so it was a decent meal considering I didn't want anything. That sounds amazing! Um, I want to come over. You have horribly good news! Share! Decreases the chance of encountering wild Pokemon. Oh, that's handy too, actually. <laughs> I love how if you look down at the bottom screen, it's just our chandelier running back and forth being like, I want cake. <laughs> Give me cupcake. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm getting a little hungry too. How about Kirby Town's famous fresh water? Are you selling me water from the thing behind you? A new bed and my brother just helped me get into the room so I spent the last half hour getting it in and now it's expanded very nice uh do you mean like a like a bed frame or a mattress uh okay so you guys were saying to surf right I got a float soul. Man, it's bad, but I thought it was at least 10 inch, but the mattress I had before would be like 6 inch compared to this behemoth. I don't know if my dogs can get on it now. Oh no. Oh, actually, uh, spot Pokemon here. Bit of a glass cannon, though. So, relating to mattresses, funny story. A couple of years ago, but I say a couple, it was like 10 years ago now, uh, I got myself a queen size bed, a queen size bed frame, which I still have. Um, and I also got, obviously, a new mattress because I had been sleeping, I think, on like a twin up until that point. We ordered queen! And they definitely didn't send me queen. They sent me some weird, like, in-between size. I know there's a lot of different sizes for beds. I don't know which this one was, but it definitely wasn't a queen. So I unrolled it. And then I remember having to walk back out to my mom in the living room and be like, um, I don't think there's meant to be all this space on both sides. <laughs> I had to, like, return. It was such a pain. It would be full. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, and then I got my proper mattress, and then, uh, Mike came over, and I am not joking. I love this man to pieces, but, like, my room's kind of narrow, right? We have, we have a, t a dresser with a TV on it at the end of the bed, so it's a narrow way to walk through. So sometimes, Mike will, like, put his foot up and, like, you know, step over the bed. Uh, he broke my old mattress. It was old and cheap, because I didn't have money at the time, but, like, you know... He had to buy me a new one. <laughs> um, which is the one I have now, and the one I have now is awesome. Hurt themselves jumping. Hopefully not. But my Simba mattress is also the one that you need to grow into its proper size as well. So the thing happened to us, our dogs were able to get up but not use the taller bed so they would jump short and not make it. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna try hitting it. Gently. Gentle. Gentle headbutts. 
Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That's great. Yeah, maybe get like a little doggy ramp or stairs or something like that. Some animals don't use them, but... If anyone wants to be a uh, name for Floatzel, by the way, do our uh, our next Pokemon name giveaway here. Uh, type exclamation mark name if you haven't already been named. Just make sure that whatever we nickname it has something to do with your username so that I know it was you who won. <gasps> Hello! So happy to finally catch this live instead of on YouTube. Oh, man, the English language is weird. Live. Ryan live, not live. <laughs> right, thank you so very much. I hope you have been having a good one. Welcome on in. I think you can buy an adult bed that's less than 200 centimeters here. That's longer than ours? Right? Get your names in chat. If you are interested. Also, if you would like, it could just be your username or you can come up with a mix of your username and the Pokemon's name. As so long as I know that it's you. Branded! <laughs> Do you just want to be Brandon? Brandon the second, some mix. Oh, oh congratulations! So what, uh, what, what breed? What age? Tell me everything. That's very exciting. Mere floats? I love that. And it fit, fits perfectly. It transferred to Horny Jail yet again, Brandon. <laughs> Alright, so that was the Pokemon for this area. I'd say Isabel definitely measure the height between the top of your mattress and the floor to try to get like a good height range for what you're looking for for your ramp. There we go. Um, was that everything in this town? I guess. Pomerania named Bear. Oh, another bear. He's three. He got blue eyes due to a genetic defect and is partially blind. But since my boyfriend's a dog trainer who's worked with blind dogs before, you've been allowed to adopt him. Oh, that's so lovely. I'm so happy to hear that. Congratulations. I hope he settles in okay. Do you have, um, I'm assuming boyfriend being a dog trainer, you probably have lots of dog stuff around, but do you have everything ready? Uh, okay, so we're going down to, I think it's Snowbell City, I'm guessing, is where our last gym is. At this rate, we might not make it today, but we'll give it a try at least. Let my dearest Rufer lead the way on our walk, and we came all the way from Cormarine uh, City to here. My feet are killing me. Alright, Route 19. Yeah, two bears in chat. A big bear and a small bear. We do need to take a detour to Pokemon Village after getting there. Oh, okay. So it, it might not be today then. We'll at least try to make it into the... into the town. To drive out to get him, but after that it's all set. Oh! That makes me so happy to hear. It's so lovely to be able to adopt. Okay. 
I don't know if I'll get around to post game at least anytime soon. Um, I was though considering I was asking about it towards the beginning of the playthrough, but like what I would need to do to complete the Pokedex in this generation. And I was kind of thinking about it, but like I think it'd be a lot of work, especially with online pretty much shut down now. Never buys, yeah. Always good. Always good to rescue and adopt where possible. Oh, all right, we got some flowers. These are very pretty, geez. Oh, uh, I got a fairy type here, it looks like. Uh, I remember Mr. Mime being kind of scary when we encountered them in the fairy gym, I think it was. It should be good though, right? It took you like 400 hours training shinies to get the Pokedex filled up was rough. I didn't even notice. You're absolutely right. It's a little weird that they don't have like a Mr. and Miss Mime. Mr. and Mrs. maybe. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, that accuracy. No. No. I'm good, thank you. I still can't believe my bear will be four this June. I'm glad we rescued him in 2020 when he was born because it's easier to keep up with how old he is. Yeah, you don't have to remember quite so much. With Ollie, it's like I know I got him in July 2020 and I know he was like a year and a half and then I have to like count back and just... It's a thing. The Mr. Part is an English localization error. Oh. Just need a blue house. <laughs> It was. It was an awesome show. I don't know if y'all have seen, but there's a really- like, it'll kind of ruin your childhood a little bit, but there's a really funny outtake clip that's floating around online of- I think it's that little bear and that blue mouse. And they just- they start just laying into each other with some very not, you know, friendly language. And it- the camera pans up to the- the- like, you know, the big bear. And he does the eyebrow raise, and it's perfect. It's such a funny clip. It gets me every time. Oh, that's very useless for me right now. Uh, yeah. Express an apprehension over Mr. Mime's English name. The name was chosen by Nintendo of America staff during the localization work for Pokemon Red and Blue. Not to say that he was worried that the name would cause trouble if gender mechanics were to be introduced later down the line. And then, of course, it was like, what, the next generation where they were? He called it. Hey, Phoenix Nation, how are you doing? Crest, hi! Hey, do you know what's about to happen? Um... Nope, what is it? We're going to battle! Our Pokémon trainers, after all. Okay. I don't know, sometimes this girl wants to flirt, sometimes she wants to battle. <laughs>
A dog and a little cake. Oh, I love those. So cute. saying about thousand year door uh no i heard that a lot of pre-orders were getting canceled though for some reason like a lot of different retailers like didn't have enough or something uh swap to you <laughs> scary boo for stantler and phantom for spirit team Though neither of them were accepted, Phantom. What could have been? I like Scary Boo, actually. That's really cute. <laughs> what happened if we sent a Doug Trio out on this bridge? Now we're asking the real questions. Really? That's so dumb. I think people are just looking for reasons to be angry. <laughs> And there is no reason to be angry there. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Just don't even give them the time of day. This will work. What's Chestnut's second typing? Is it ground? <laughs> yeah, we've actually uh, we were talking about that a couple uh, streams ago. Actually, it's it's cool to see grass fighting. Oh, okay, that was a little dangerous then, but it's fine. Yeah, world is kind of crazy. <laughs> Reminded me of our battle in uh, Accord Town. That's the first time. Is that really what that first town is called? <laughs> I didn't pay attention. Uh, that was the first time for both of us to battle with our Pokemon. Hello, Cross Taishana. An Ottoman might be an idea. Let's just see that they actually localized it back this time and didn't censor Vivian. Absolutely. What are you two up to? Nothing big. How about you guys? Well, the same as you, Shauna. We heard about Cross from the Professor and we came running as fast as we could. Cross, can we have a Pokemon battle? Oh, uh, sorry to just throw that at you. Wow, they're just giving me like a, a little gauntlet here. I wasn't prepared. I'm here for it, though. Um... Talonflame. I know you're fire flying, but... I guess I could use water. Yeah, I really want to grab Thousand Year Door. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it right away. Same with like Luigi's Mansion. I really want both of those physically, but I, I, I'd be probably better off getting them with like the the game voucher thing, so I get a little bit off. <laughs> Give me Wind Waker. <laughs> Uh, you know, okay, listen, right? Right, just, just like, put on your tinfoil hats with me for a second. Get them ready. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm, I'm throwing out there, Nintendo. 
with the June Direct that we know is happening and we know we'll not be talking about the next generation at all. You you could just uh you could just put Wind Waker and, and uh uh Twilight Princess on the Switch. And just like that could that could keep me company until the next generation. And then, you know, if the next console is backwards compatible, then we'll have Wind Waker on the next console from day one, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> I'm very desperate. Seems like a good remake. By groceries, living on disability, Big G did not give me my SNAP benefits, so whatever money I have has to go to groceries. Yeah, definitely gotta have your priorities there. That's very understandable. Uh, ooh, what is this Pokemon? Uh, oh, water, water dark. Okay. That was one I straight up didn't know. Like, I, I wouldn't have been able to tell you what it even looks like. Now that you actually mention it, I don't know what what are snap benefits exactly. Oh, it's food stamps. Oh, okay, I didn't. I'd never heard that term, snap benefits before. That makes sense though. Like, not that they don't give it, it makes sense that that's what they are. <laughs> it's actually silly that they don't give that as well. Oh, Tierney asking someone to battle, what's up with that? Just in town made me think, if Cross hadn't been there I wouldn't be dancing now, that's for sure. Maybe we want to get to know Cross better and I thought a battle would be the best way to do that. It's kind of selfish of me I guess, but it's also a way of thanking her. Tierno, it's great when Pokemon trainers like us can understand the hearts and minds of other trainers in their Pokemon battle. Uh, before we do anything else, we should heal your Pokemon. That's your turn, Crust. Thank you. I think I'll fall the crown and be your opponent as well. Kill the spider. Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. Online service, I'd like to see legacy Pokemon games like Emerald. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see them as well. Um, even, like... And this is just me being like very hopeful. Uh, even if it wasn't on the NSO and it was like a separate thing that you purchased to have Pokemon on there, I would I would pay for it. Make it a part of home, yeah. Let me, like, oh God, can you imagine being able to go back through, like, gens 1, 2, and 3 and just trade with each other online? I might be able to actually finish those. Like, the Pokedex is actually. Especially Gen 3. Aerodactyl. Uh, ooh, is Sissy good for that one, I think? What is it, rock, rock flying? I'm sure my local game's not named to Emerald after Pokemon Emerald because that was the game that got him into Pokemon. Oh, it's led him to meeting his wife. That's very cute. Oh, silver. Yeah, that happens frequently. And it's like, why am I just suddenly dying? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the thing. They they can pay or they can make you have pay a subscription 
to access these old games instead of paying one off so that it, it's you know their business they're trying to make money but it's frustrating ah pain okay we get <laughs> there we go bro you mad why are you mad <laughs> It's a grass type. Yeah. They're just convulsing to me in the living room, stares at me after I said, What do you want? You've been fed and the back door is open so you can enjoy being outside. For him to smack me and walk out, he's just like, Just pay attention to me. <laughs> trying. Yeah, I think... Oh, that actually did not do... Are you just fairy? Wait a minute. Are you are you one of those ones that looks like you're a plant, but you're not? Oh, god. Okay. It's one of those. Got you. I know, I know. It was with the baby form, though. I was like, well, maybe it evolved into itself, but it, it didn't. Mastiff named Pancake. He doesn't smack people, it just randomly gives them one lick on the hand and trots off. Oh. Kisses. <laughs> Stronger than I thought. Still so much I don't know. Do I just not have what it takes? Wow, I don't think I've ever heard you worry about being weak or strong before. You seem a lot bolder than you used to be. Is it because you went on a journey? Or maybe it's thanks to what you learned from being with your Pokemon and with us, your friends. Speaking of which, where's Caleb? He's off training with the Mega Evolution Guru. He said friends are friends even if they can't be together. Indeed. Well, there's something we must attend to. Be seeing you. I'm so glad I went on a journey. I made some great friends. Thanks to my little chess spin that I met before we left, I was able to visit many places, meet a lot of nice people, and make many wonderful memories. Cross, this is from us. Oh, wow. Thank you. And if you're battling without the gym badge from Snowball State Gym, you can use Waterfall. Gotta get going. Wait, did I read that right? If you are, or even without. Did I just- I think I butchered that. Anyway. I want the NSO so I can play it for an hour before I decide to make a purchase because I would- I don't want to buy a game then an hour later realize that I don't enjoy it and can't return it. That's fair, yeah. I also love game demos as well. Uh, all right. Hey, eh, eh, I'm stuck. I don't know why, but I only really remember the battles I lose. My Bergmite's given me my, by my grandma when I was born. All right, Snowbell City. Oh god, Mr. Bonding's in here. <laughs> One man thought, uh, through it all lives ever on. Oh, okay, this is the uh, thingy. Nope. Don't get lost down the Pokemon path, run around and around in a loop it goes. Big tree marks the way. We have to wait until we're at least 10? I know, right? How unfair is that? There's like preschoolers running around with Pokemon.
Tur is refusing to give you the ore you need. How frustrating. Have you heard of the uh, Gracidia flower? It's been a long-standing tradition in the Sinnoh region to give bouquets of them to people as a way of expressing one's appreciation. What's up, Mulba? The ice types, you know, they're super chill. And again, I can see why some people get fired up for the fire types. They're pretty hot. Oh, I remember this place. The best part of the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Bells is that there are so many options, so many different tactics to try. Some people may try to end a battle quickly with a brute force offense, while others may prefer to go defensive and play the long game. Yeah, it would be nice to have a little bit more... Like, it, it might... Well, I say it might not have worked for the school setting in Scarlet and Violet, but, like, there were, there were uh, older students there, too. Thanks to the cold air that seeps out of the gym. No one in the town needs air conditioning. Sandre or Lysander was his name, right? I wonder why he didn't dream bigger. If he had said he wanted to save everyone in Kalos, surely people would have supported him. You know, Pokemon look like you've been through a lot together, you know? Got a kid who's right around the same age as you who just set off from Vanneville Town on a journey of his own recently. Bet he's looking all grown up now. Wait. Wait, what? Isn't there only, like, one other house? Yeah, the subscription service they know makes them more money over the long run. And I'm like, I like to be overleveled and one-shot things, so <laughs> move on, same. Walk the little ones to school, that would be cute. Yeah, and now we're, we have like streaming services bringing ads back in and it's like we're just looping back around a cable except it's worse because it's only like one thing. It's not like a collection of different companies. Pokemon get frozen, they can't do anything, but it's hard to freeze a Pokemon. Traveler, what sides have you seen with your Pokemon? Uh, oh, we got a clothing store. Got here, we got anything good? The blue's kind of cute. I got sleeveless for when we're in a very, very cold town. <laughs> like our boots already. Yeah, sure, why not? Have a little change. I'm actually not the biggest fan of the hat, believe it or not, but I might leave it for now. It's different. Snow little blue, if it ain't the future champ. I hate to disappoint, but the gym leader's actually out right now. He said he was off to the winding woods if you feel like searching. Uh okay. My memory of this area is a little vague. Lilfric often wanders off in the direction of the winding woods. I wonder what he's up to. Is that over here? Okay. Uh, I guess we can catch a new Pokemon here, too. Oh, is this... This is for, uh, Leafeon? Okay, what do we got? I got a Jigglypuff. <laughs> I 
Uh, we were going by section, not really by route, technically. So, like, if I entered a cave, that'd be a different area. Towns, if I could surf or fish, that's a different area. Routes are different areas. Careful with your markers around her. I remember that. Oh, I was kind of hoping that would just work. Okay, um... I'm scared of hitting it too hard. Yeah, I saw that trade earlier too, actually. Um, and we do have the Moonstone from earlier as well. I can't remember what Hex does. Let's see. Oh, it... Right. Right, we're not... Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. I remembered. I remembered. It's fine. I'm gonna do a flying charge and hope that we don't knock baby out. Uh, okay, we're good. No thoughts, head empty? Yeah, definitely. It doesn't affect me. go. <laughs> Level 69. Oh, uh, anyone want to be the name for Jigglypuff? Do exclamation mark name. When the bot tells you to, you have a minute to enter. So long as you haven't already been named for a Pokemon, or if you have been named for one and they fainted, that's fine too. Captivates foes with its huge round eyes and lulls them to sleep by singing a soothing melody. Go ahead and let the bot tick down. Ugh, I don't really remember this area too well though. I like. I remember the, the mossy rock being here, but I guess this is so close to the end, I probably rushed through. Uh, and by the way, for those entering, as long as we can name it something to do with your username, then I'm happy. Just that, like, I know that it's you. Otherwise, I don't tend to remember. <laughs> It is. It is very huggable looking. Very cute. And Fry, let me know what you want your, your Pokemon name to be. It could be a mix of your username and the Pokemon name, or just your username. Right, sounds good. I can I can add in a little puff on the end there. Like that. Or even take away the space. Bear with me. There you go. Very cute. And you've been transferred to Horny Jail. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, right. Okay, so there's different routes through here. Or there's like different entrances and exits. I'm always in horny jail. <laughs> You'll be right at home then. Here. Could be the toughest twins in the world. Here's a map. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Uh. Okay. This is a lot. Wait, where's the process? Okay, right. And then there's a train of battle. Okay, I see where we are. I see where we are. I think. Slightly. Uh, ignore the Japanese sex. Will do. Makas, how are you doing? 
I am lost. <laughs> Yeah, we traded with each other. So when we're done with this... I'm so confused by this map. <laughs> I think we want to go north after this, though. Uh, item over there I kind of want to get my hands on. hates Clucky so much, but I think it's cute. I don't think I really have much of an opinion. It's, like, cool looking. Like, there's, like, different kinds of keys on it. Because it's good. Um, knocking on every single surface of wood I can find. We haven't lost anyone today. We've been doing actually pretty good. We have to go through D on the map. And then go through F. Um... So down. Cause that just, oh. Oh, there's, oh. Oh, okay, I understand. I can see why I was so confused. Uh, and then that put me. Okay, D and then F is to the right. Uh, left. Okay, wrong way. <laughs> I 
it's true affection. <laughs> I don't think I would have felt confident enough earlier. Okay, down. It was correct. So down here, okay. And then... That, okay, I can see the one I'm in right now, and I can see F. I can see F. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> this place is uh, a little much for my brain at the moment. Particularly popping out now, sweetheart. I mean, more or less worrying than people sending out their kids at, like, age of 10 and are like, here, go fend for yourself, have fun. Your Pokemon will protect you, and it's like, eh. Yeah, but, like, there's still bad people out there. <laughs> F, and then U. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Not to all of you, just some. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, alright, we got energy ball, nice. Okay, so, um, what area is he gonna be in? I'm assuming I wanna go back. Oh. Wait, this way? Aha! <laughs> you know what this place is? Welcome to the Pokemon Village. This place is a secret, you know? Most of the Pokemon here are runaways, escape from bad people who did awful things to them. It's a shame how many heartless trainers who can't bother to care for their Pokemon are out here. Some of these Pokemon, though, some of them were just too strong and found they didn't really have a place in the outside world, so they came here. I see. Your Pokemon sure seem to think highly of you. You've had some good times together, haven't you? Hey, you all can come out now. This one's alright. Sometimes I get worried and come here to check on everyone. Oh, excuse my manners. We haven't had a proper introduction yet. My name's Wolfric. I'm usually over at the gym in Snowbell City since I'm the gym leader and all. I guess you want to challenge me? That's right. I thought so. Sorry to inconvenience you like this. I'll be waiting for you back at the gym then. Before you come by, I think it'd do you good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. Yeah, some have social anxiety and are just vibing. That sounds like an awesome place. Alrighty, so we have made it, uh, but friends, this is unfortunately where I need to be wrapping up for the day. Thank you all so, so very much for watching, though, and for hanging out. I will be back tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern, and I think what we're going to do, tomorrow's usually my, like, whatever I feel like sort of day, but I'd like to wrap up the playthrough. So we are going to finish this. We're going to get through the final gym and hopefully the Elite Four and hopefully not lose anyone. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. And uh, if we have time left over, we'll probably play some Ocarina of Time as well. So, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, copy down the raid message. I think we're going to go... I think we're going to say hi to Glam. She's doing some Final Fantasy XIV, so... Let's go over and say hi. Um, yeah, have an amazing day, everyone. I hope you all have a great, great rest of your day. And uh, hopefully, 
I will see you all tomorrow.